Moses Anim is a member of parliament for trouble. He's here in the studio uh, just a few minutes ago reading through the 1992 constitution. <laughs> but it's the same 1992 <coughs> constitution that also gives the right to all those who are attacking Anas Areme Anas to go through the <coughs> processes as far as the law is concerned to seek some remit from the law as to place an injunction on whatever uh, audiovisual investigations he has undertaken or not that is uh, with his organization tiger ipi but the question on the lips of many and i have to pose that to you is whether to show the video or not to show because as it is tiger has not been served they can decide to show the video on any other medium they have the internet or whatever after today yes uh, thank you very much for for the opportunity this morning and thanks for coming me, too and let me let me greet uh viewers and then the Ghanaians as a whole and wish everybody well today uh you know the other time when we met i told you that we are all bound to the constitution of this country the judiciary is subject only to the 1992 constitution and one 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 two five one two seven all goes to deepen the independence of the judiciary so that to at least to strengthen the judiciary to ensure that they turn out judgment and procedure that we all want and that the right the fundamental right of the individual is so preserved and must must, must be up up upheld to a point where we all be satisfied with it therefore both ends have the right as based by the constitution and each each of us including the judiciary the chief justice is supposed to subject his selves or herself to the 1992 constitution therefore uh, anas has the right to 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 show as much as he has the right and the responsibility also lies on him for the for the judiciary or, or the high court or wherever we've, the case has been sent to the individuals involved their right must also be, be looked at until the judgment comes or until any ruling comes from the competent uh, court that uh, any of the accused persons uh, has sent the case to we wait impatiently for, for 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 judgment or ruling to come in that direction mm. as at now when we what i have read is that it's becoming difficult locating an ass to 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 present him the 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 case so that he can represent himself or the law his lawyers represent him and his company i i believe this morning there's supposed to be some the case the, the case is starting this morning let's hope that the fast track will happen then we'll listen to the the, the competent court and we'll move from there until then each of them still have their right to take the action mm. i i believe strongly that uh, we should be patient the other day i was even mentioning uh, that there is going to be another issue you see when you read 1468 1468 is means telling the the chief justice that the committee hearing in investigate after determining a prima facie case should be in camera 1468 it should be in camera and i know Ghanaians who want like the the election petition who want to see the investigation the committee done showing it on tv for all of us to see but that will be a breach of the constitution well, one but this eight is saying that even the committee's work in investigating the issue that the superior court you know one forces has established the procedure the cogent procedure that is supposed to be taken by the chief justice mm. to deal with that matter and one forces eight is saying that <laughs> it should be done in camera i know that if you listen to the public they will want to view it openly okay but i think we are all subject to the constitution uh, we must allow the constitution to work until an amendment has been done and approved we must be subject to the constitution this is how it goes if you go to anna's official facebook page uh, you get to see that he was in the evening at the accra international conference center that's the venue as slated and advertised um, efficiently or this is not sporadically but um, daily across the media networks where we're, we're, we're expecting to have the the expose being showed today and tomorrow as well court bailiffs have not been successful to 
Serve Adnans and his company Tiger IPI with summons contesting the content of the video and they plan to edit though and the immunity granted him an application seeking his, his incarceration. Lawyers for Justice Paul Derry, one of the 12 High Court judges caught on video allegedly receiving bribe, uh, they had filed three separate applications aimed at stopping Adnans from screening the video. And they are currently considering serving the summons on the investigative journalist himself and his company through his postal address on notice boards at the High Court. And so that will be done in absentia. So whether he's absent or not, again, the law allows that to happen. Uh, meanwhile, an Accra um, High Court will today hear the application for interlocutory injunction on hearings of a committee set up to probe corruption charges against 22 lower court judges indicted in the corruption scandal. The committee has so far suspended sitting to September 25, and I'm sure that will be around Friday, uh, because of the lawsuit. Uh, the 14 judges are also asking the High Court to declare that the panel constituted by the Chief Justice Georgina Wood to uh, institute disciplinary proceedings against them has no legal basis and is therefore null and void. A lot of lobbying. Yeah, you see, uh, it's good. But all within the law. Yes, yeah, all within the law. The committee suspending this sitting is good to allow the individuals involved to have their case heard in, in court. And then the judgment at the court will determine how they continue from there. Mm. And that is why I kept saying that we should all support the Chief Justice to take to the Constitution the approach. At the same time, any individual who thinks that the procedure is, is not in line with the Constitution also has the right to go for fair hearing, and from there we we'll move on. Though we want a speedy <laughs> determination of this case, but I think that we should be patient. Uh, I don't know. You can, you can set me right. I think this is becoming a landmark case. I don't know if it we, is. We, yes, it's it a is. landmark case. I don't think we've gone through this before. This is the first time we're trying to test 146 by is the procedures and the regulations set in 146. This is the first time that we're trying to test it. And so doing... You mean in the case involving the judiciary? The judiciary. In fact, if you even read the, the, the review committee on the amendment, they, they even made it clear that there, there's no definitive rule and regulation in dealing with judiciary corruption, except uh, Act 29, Act 29 and other laws that we have. But specifically looking at how delicate the judiciary is, judicial corruption in actual fact, it, there's no definitive uh, procedure apart from 146 in the Constitution. Let me this to you. Do you think that we got the whole debate wrong in the media? Perhaps speaking more on the moral side of it instead of speaking on the law side of it. You see, because initially, when the video came out, it was about, well, yes, the perception has always been there. And, and because also Anas has always uh, exposed corruption in, in other public sectors, so we thought it, it was just one of those. You see, you cannot decouple morality from, from issues like this. Definitely, it will go hand in hand alongside with the debate. What is important is not for us to step overstep and overflow as much as we are allowing the rule of law to go to proceed and the aspect of the constitution is being followed and for morality you cannot decouple it especially when it comes to issues like this because we all want a credible judiciary we all, we all want uh, an efficient and effective judiciary and and for for even the business uh, uh, development of the country, you know, it it goes, it cascades up to down. The what the uh, poor person must have a fair hearing if his case is right. So we all want it that way, and as a result, we should be careful. The morality cannot be decoupled. We should overflow it, but we should also allow the rule of law to 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 proceed. By and large, for now, I'm I'm confident. I'm satisfied with with the debate both ends and you could see that any at any juncture that somebody will have to stop and allow 
another side of the of the law to take place it's been it's been done let's guide and pray for for the chief justice and then those who are involved so that at the end of the day this will be the precedent you set a precedent so also to make sure that at least we've cleaned up our judiciary and also to build confidence in the judiciary at the end of the day i want to see ghana winning ghana winning out of this not individual winning but ghana winning out of this mm. and mm. that would uh, okay let's say it's not shown but the various processes and the actions as being instituted by the judicial council per the directive of the chief justice is undertaken and duly gone through that would have also been seen to the outside world or the outside stakeholders as having been a process we've undertaken to make sure that we cleanse it? That's it. Okay. That's so no it. matter what that's it is, it. I, it's the action I, that's important. I, I, I don't see much problem emanating from the superior court judges because you see clear outline in one forces. The, 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 the difficulty is with the, the lower, lower courts. Court. The difficulty is the, the lower, lower court. court because you don't, it's not too clear in one for eight. Article 148, it is, it, is, it is not too clear there. So that is where the difficulty is going mm. to come from. Mm. But I know with, with, with experience of the Chief Justice and the Judiciary mm. and the Judicial Council, we, we, should, we should sail through. Mm. And then at the end of the day, as I said, Ghana should be the winner. Mm. It, it, it's mm. an interesting point you make, though. Mm. It, it also makes for interesting reading. Because, uh, for example, when you came in, you were reading aspects of that mm. part of the Constitution. Mm. Mm. And, um, well, we'll see how that goes and <laughs> how we're also able to um, succinctly look at how we can deal with some of these difficulties that uh, we're going through as a country. Um, for example, uh, you have been talking about Article 146. It's something that has also been quoted um, variedly across uh, the media when this very debate is on. It says a justice of the Superior Court or chairman of the regional tribunal shall not be removed from office except mm. for stated misbehavior or incompetence mm. or on grounds of inability to perform the functions of his office arising from infirmity of body or mind and um four two uh, also said um, one four six two also says the justice of the superior court of judicature or chairman of the regional tribunal uh, may only be removed in accordance with um, the procedure specified in this article and that is if the president also receives a petition and that's for three for the removal of justice of a superior court and the chief justice or the removal of the chairman of the regional tribunal he shall also refer it to the chief justice and so all the actions being taken yeah, in order yeah. okay we'll see how that goes and yeah. and how um the, the, in eight it says all proceedings and this article shall be held in camera that's right and the chief justice or chairman yeah. against whom the petition is made yeah. is entitled to be heard in That's his right. defense by himself That's right. or by a lawyer or other expert of his choice. That's right. You get it. Great. And that is where I was saying sure, I'm sure. very soon that will be the next I'm sure Anas himself <laughs> being a lawyer knew that there will be difficulties here because himself is a lawyer as well. So he knew that there will be difficulties one way or the other as far as this is concerned. Yeah.